let's take a look at recruitment strategies. Numerous recruitment strategies are available, but seldom are they all used for any given position. Of course, it's not the sheer number of strategies used that determines the quality intake process, but the choice of the appropriate combination. Ten strategies are discussed next, each of which has strengths and weaknesses and therefore various utilization patterns. Job posting originally considered the placing of a job announcement on walls and prominent locations such as post offices and city halls. Today, posting also includes electronic posting, listing jobs on agency websites, and websites exclusively dedicated to job seekers, also known as job boards. Personal contact recruitment occurs when potential applicants are personally encouraged to apply for positions. Newspaper recruitment focuses on local and regional openings. Trade journals are newsletters and magazines that inform members of professions about activities on a regular basis. Mail and email recruitment, known as custom mailing, is a highly personalized approach in which individuals are encouraged by letter to apply. Institutional capacity recruiting focuses on ensuring that job seekers consider an agency in general and visits its job application website rather than specific jobs. Internship recruitment programs are a common strategy in many mid-sized and large jurisdictions. Headhunting or external recruitment occurs when the staffing function is farmed out to a third party that makes the initial contact or even provides the hiring contract. In non-competitive recruitment, also called direct or one-day hiring, a single official completes the process without a formal comparison of candidates. Which strategies work best for which jobs? Consider each of these strategies as you design the correct selection and recruitment procedure for your next position.